Boom, we're live. It's our Sunday fun day, so we're gonna be headed to a place called Capos and taking a little yacht out with some of the friends. So let's go. Okay, so before we go any further with the vlog about the yachting and the Sunday fun day, there's been something I've been pondering, and that, there's some really important questions that I think we should be asking ourselves. The first one is, what do I want? Or for, I guess, for this case, you'd be asking yourself, what do you want? And what am I willing to sacrifice to get it, or to get there, whatever it might be. Um, my whole life I've been struggling with, I, I mostly just emotional stuff. I'm fairly uh, logically uh, capable of figuring out a lot of stuff. So I'm, I'm good at building things, I'm good at taking them apart, and for the most part, putting them back together, constructing, designing, conceptualizing. But my emotions have always been a really weak part of me. So for instance, when I was 19 years old, I broke up with one of my partners and I started smoking tobacco, mostly because I had ran out of ganja and I was working in the bush and I was feeling kind of lonely. But I think what was important there is that, that emotional dip that really sent me down the long tail curve, something that I don't really enjoy doing, but it was covering up that emotional dilemma that I was having. So what I've started to realize is, well, what do I want? Well, I, for, you know, for a bunch of years, I got to live kind of like a rock star. I was rolling around in $10 million homes, $100,000 sports cars. Thank you, that was a lot of fun. But then I did my first ayahuasca ceremony and I realized that I deeply wanted to have children, a wife, um, grow gardens and, and play music. And I had this in my mind for many years that by the time I was 50 years old, I would be really good at singing lullabies and I'd be able to sing my, my child and my baby to sleep, you know? The questions of what do I want, what am I willing to sacrifice to get there? I've also loved being an entrepreneur. Where has this led me? Well, currently the things that I need to sacrifice the most to get where I want to go is that emotional volatility. Although it's valuable, it has cost me a lot. The uh, cover-ups for that emotional volatility, I think like smoking or, or just wasting time, I guess sometimes you can even, you know, just wasting time on your phone too much. And just, just random stuff. I spend a lot of time alone because of that but it's not the best for when you want to meet people. So you kind of got to step out of your boundaries. So I've been asking myself, what am I willing to sacrifice? And I've tried quitting smoking so many times and, and business too. You know, I've had these great run-ups and then I've come crashing down. I've lost more money sometimes in a single year than most people might make in their lifetime. And I, when I first, when that first happened, I almost, I was almost in tears. I was broken up. What am I doing with my life? I was living in Guatemala, I, you know, I've lost all this money trying to make money and I just got, you know, why am I not just enjoying this instead? And that's part of it. That's part of the experience that you learned how to enjoy. Now, I get hit with moves like that, I, you know, and I don't even flinch. Money in, money, money out, value in, value out. Life is this continual reassertion and, and growth of the things that we love. So today's vlog, I know it starts off with a bunch of gratuitous uh, vlog shots about the yachting and the Sunday fun day. But what I really wanted to drive into is what do you want and what are you willing to sacrifice to get there? Because generally you already know the things that are wrong. Like, because I know. I know what I think I'm doing wrong or what I could be doing better and what I think is holding me back from making it to that next stage, that next like plateau where I can really drive forward from again. And it's hard to let go sometimes, not because I think it's difficult to let go, but because we realize how much responsibility it comes with being a productive, effective member of society. That when you really let go of all the things that are holding you back, people telling you you're not good enough, that you won't make it, that your ideas are shit, when you let go of all the things that are holding you back, the amount of energy that starts to push you forward is overwhelming. And the responsibility that comes with that is also quite overwhelming. And I think that's what's been holding me back. So I know I had said it once or twice before, and I've tried quitting smoking over and over again. And day five here again of no, of no smoking after the last two and a half months of, of smoking. 
Um, again, I usually mix tobacco and ganja together for those of you that know. They're called a spliff, but and more, more, than, more so than the ganja, just the tobacco I think has been holding me back because it's an emotional cover up. And because of the emotional volatility that I've always had troubles with, these are the things that I want to sacrifice. So it's a great thing to ask yourself, what are the problems? You know them, I know you know them. I know for me what they are. Sacrifice those things, put them aside, and the beautiful that you're looking for might enter your life. And that's, and that's really what it is. The ability to have a family, grow a garden, enjoy music, that's all I wanted. I'm a fairly simple man. Anyways, we're gonna jump back into the B-roll. I hope you guys are having yourselves a wonderful day. If you like this content, remember to give us those thumbs up. We'll be doing more travel, entrepreneur, film, plant vlogs, all that fun stuff. We hope you guys enjoy it. It's, it's very enjoyable for us. Uh, thank you for joining us along the ride. Uh, if you're new to the Bear family, subscribe. We have a whole plethora of eclectic content that we deliver on a consistent, regular, somewhat basis. Stay with the Arcane Bear, and let's see you hopefully on the next time we go yachting. Bear.